Hi, my name is Evelina, and welcome to my makeup tutorial for Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea. The character I will be doing is Elizabeth. Let's get started! First, I use the Elmer's glue stick to flatten out my eyebrows as much as possible because we're going to be covering them. So put the first layer and then let it dry. Make sure you take your finger and run it over your eyebrow. Make sure you cannot feel your actual eyebrow. You want it as flat as possible. Do the same to the other eyebrow. After each individual layer, you want to powder it to set it. I'm using Ben Nye Media Pro HD Matte Powder to set my eyebrows. Use a big fluffy brush to brush off any excess powder that may be on your face. Next, I used Ben Nye Star Luxe Foundation over the eyebrow area. Next, I used Ben Nye Special Concealer in Green. Next, use a foundation closest to your skin tone. I used what I had right there, which was a foundation that was lighter than my skin tone, but use one closest to your skin tone. You'll want to set the foundation with a translucent powder. Again, I used Ben Nye Media Pro HD Matte Powder. Using the Glam Shadow Pressed Color Palette by Ben Nye, I used black and marked out the beginning, the arch, and the end of the eyebrows, and then filling them in with a small angled brush in small strokes. Then did the same to the other eye, trying to make them as even as possible. Next, using Glam Shadow Pressed Color Palette by Ben Nye, I layered Eggplant, Twilight Blue, and Black on the eyelid. Smooth out any creases that may have been created before applying the eyeshadow to your lid. Using your foundation brush, clean up any fallout. Using shell from the Glam Shadow Pressed Color Palette, highlight your brow bone. Using black from the Glam Shadow Pressed Color Palette by Ben Nye, I lined my eyes. Next, I used Fleet Street Drying Blood in Fresh and a stipple sponge, poured just a little bit of the blood into the cap, dipped the stipple sponge in the cap, and brushed the stipple sponge across my cheek on various areas of my face. Now I did this backwards. You should end by putting the blood on your face and not begin. I just got a little excited about playing with blood. Next, I used Graftobian Theatrical Blood Paste. And I used the stipple sponge to darken certain places where I placed the blood previously. Using Cobblestone and Eggplant from the Glam Shadow Pressed Color Palette by Ben Nye, I shadowed the areas where the blood is that kind of gives a bruised effect. 
When using this palette, use very little of the shadows. It is a very pigmented palette and it's easy to overdo the color. Next, I used the Ben Nye Lip Color Palette in Marilyn Red and Cherry Berry. With a very precise lip brush, I lined my lips a little outside of my natural lip line. You can also do this with a lip liner. I just did not have one on me right there. Using Ben Nye Starlux foundation, I highlighted just the corners of the mouth to give more definition to the lips. Don't forget to blend the foundation into your skin, otherwise you might just look like you ate one of those powdered sugar donuts. Lastly, I put on the wig and some false lashes. To attach the lashes, I like to use Duo Lash Glue. And there you have it, Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea.